Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Outdoorsman One video. Today we are going to be talking about two awesome products from Claymore Lights. Okay, so Claymore this company, the awesome company that I met up with at Overland Expo. I just want to do an initial uh, video on these guys. You guys know that I like lights. You guys know that I use lights. Obviously now that I live out of my camper, headlights, cap lights, stuff like that are really, really important to me. Um, but let, let's talk about some of the features that both of these guys have that are similar and then we'll talk about them individually. But uh, real briefly, if you guys know anything about me, you guys know that I'm really, really simple when it comes to tech and gear. I want my stuff to function very easily and I want it to function correctly and I want it to function, you know, very easy to manipulate. Uh, that's why the headlamp that I've been using for quite a while has been a, you know, a black diamond or one of their running lights because their running lights only have an on off and dimmer function. There's only one button. <laughs> really simple. These guys do have two buttons, but the but it's very simple to operate. So what's similar about these guys is they are extremely, extremely bright for their size. They both use USB-C, which is nice that the, oh, it's on this side. <clears throat> it's nice that they use USB-C. I'm an Android guy, so my phone uses USB-C, so that's great. Uh, and then also both of them have two buttons on the top. The one on the right is your power on off button. The one on the left is your mode button. The power button also works as the dimmer. Another thing to mention about both of these is they're on off, they have a memory. So whatever function that you leave them on, they will return to when you turn the unit back on which is really beneficial because, you know, if uh, you're working in a military setting and you need red light, if you turn the unit off, you want it to come back to red light. So let's hop into this guy. This is the cap on model. So what this is, is it has a fully articulating head there that can rotate all the way around. We'll get into why that's kind of really important in a second. But the reason why this really stood out to me in a law enforcement capacity uh, is this guy can stick on your shoulder strap and you can angle that light where you need it whether you want it against your chest or where, whether you want it out pointed outwards you can do that with this unit so you can see it's got two LEDs again all of their light modes are dimmable so I'm not going to dive into that too much but you just hold the power button or it'll flash once it all it gets all the way down and it'll flash when it gets all the way up Okay, that being said, we'll cycle through the modes. So you've got your two LEDs. You've got your red in the center. This red is pretty dang bright, if I do say, say so myself. Uh, and it gets down pretty low if you just need a map light. And then we'll kick it over to the ambient light. So the entire top is an ambient light. And actually, I'm probably going to use this a lot for my videos this is a really good rechargeable really good uh face face light i feel like i was going to actually record this video with this but then i was like i should probably include this this light in the video that i'm going to record <laughs> so again really awesome that it has a memory and will come back to where you turn it off but what i was saying is there's a big difference between having two lights that are beam and having a diffused light. So whether you're at camp or whether you need to see a little bit further, whether you're trail running, I think that that's really awesome. Again, with the shoulder strap idea here, having more of a diffused light might make more sense. You can rotate it forward. I like that it rotates forward and presents very little on the bottom so it's not rotating in the middle so that you don't have to have that digging into your shoulder. So I, th I think that that is really awesome. And also it rotates all the way forward. So if I need the light going straight down from my baseball cap, I can do that. And that light's gonna shine directly down. Really awesome little th light. Love the fact that it has three modes, real simple. They're all dimmable. And again, the power button 
is the only one that turns it on or does anything. Another interesting factor of this is you can see this little red light is on on the top here. What that is, is it is a motion sensor. So kind of a kind of an interesting thing, not something that I could really see myself using, um, but the the idea behind it is it's on your hat and you don't have to go uh, fumbling for the button. You can kind of just wave your hand by this side of your hat and turn your light on. Kind of cool, uh, not something that I'm really going to use. To turn that function on and off, you just hold the mode button while it's off and then that little red light will kick on. Battery life's pretty good on it. I charged it up when I first got the unit and it's been charged ever since. Extremely bright. We'll show you how bright it is in a second. Let's talk about the actual headlamp. First thing that I really like about it is how thick the headband strap is. It's really thick which is really good because that means it's going to be able to sit on your helmet if you're throwing this on top of a helmet. It's going to be able to sit on top of your baseball cap and it's also not going to ravel up as easy on your head if you're trail running or something like that. So the bigger headband is a big plus for me. Also, underneath the, the band, you've got this little hook in the actual headlamp uh, body there. So you can take the band off and hang this from something if you wanted to use this just as an indoor hanging light awesome add-on also it is uh, semi difficult to get the strap off but in a good way you can easily pull it off if you want to but it's not going to just come off if you don't want it to which is good because on my other one the headband seems to always pop off <laughs> so so far I've been I've been pleased now that I got it off, let's see if I can get it back on. Okay, so it does uh, have several positions that it will sit. And then again, there is your battery indicator to show how much charge you have. You know, if you hit your mode button. This one does not have a sensor on it or anything like that. They have a couple models of this. They have a soft, uh, they have the, the tan model has a soft light, sorry, a soft white and more of the regular blue-ish light. But this one, I got this one, I like tan, but I got this one because it has the red function. Red's really important to me, especially around camp, high mosquito, high bug area, you know, red light is the way to go. So let's cycle through the modes here. You've got red light, you've got white light, you've got your beam, your, your one beam, you've got your diffused, and then you've got both. Really, really, really simple. Again, memory takes you back to where you were. I personally really like the high amount of dispersed lighting in white and in red. I really like those modes because I feel like it puts out a good amount of camp light. Another awesome thing about it is it does have your more regular uh, projected beams and you can combine them. Really, really, really bright headlight. Love the fact that you can hang it. If I need to use it inside my Alu cab or, or something like that, I can use this. Uh, another factor on this guy, on the bottom it does have a typical like tripod mount, so it'll work with any of Claymore's um, other bases, and also if you wanted to put it on a tripod or, or some sort of like grip pod so that you can hang it from whatever you want, you could do that with this guy and use it as a very multi-purpose light. That's what I really like about it. Really multi-purpose light and the battery lasts forever because of how large it is. So it is it is decent size, but it doesn't weigh very much. Um, it, it does feel like there is a lot up there, but it doesn't feel like it's really heavy. So it's kind of like give and take. I think what it gives is more than what it takes. So uh, these two guys, be looking for a lot more from them you're probably gonna see them around a lot more these guys are really really sweet also this guy did have a little clip for the back of it so that you can clip it onto the back of your hat or clip it onto 
on to the back of something so if you are wearing a hat it, it doesn't come off and, and, and whatnot. So that was also kind of a cool thing, you know, to think about. I'm gonna go take these outside and I'll show you how bright they are. Also, just in comparison, the little guy does a really good job at lighting up the inside of the canopy camper. So first we're gonna start out with this guy. on high there it is I am on the beach and it is pretty dang bright and we're gonna go to red red's kind of a hard light to show you how bright it is because uh, it I think that this is enough and then let's go to the ambient light Again, illuminating quite a bit. Now let's cycle through. Let's, let's go down in the power on the projected light. Gets down just to a whisper. That rock right there is probably 20 feet away. Can still see my feet still see around me but not much more and then ambient light not a whole lot okay now let's go to the headlamp so this is full power on red substantially brighter than full power on the other one full power on white you're getting a good 180 of probably 25, 25 plus feet. You get your your beam, good solid 100 yards right there. Diffused, getting a good, good solid, probably 75 yards, but much wider together. Yeah, look at that. And then again. Okay, so now let's go down in the power. And again, this is brighter, even on the lowest setting. Still pretty bright on the lowest setting. High. Let's go low. All right, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed my video here on the Claymore lights. I will be making an update on them. I think they're really cool. I think they've got a lot to offer. I think they're built very well. We'll see how they kind of test the, the sands of time, if you will. But uh, stay tuned for more, guys. I'm really excited to be working with this company. I think they're a really cool product, and I will, as always, test them out. Be good, be dangerous, be ready, guys. We'll see you on the next one.